Now, you all know CERT, Community Emergency Response Team, but we are also taught about how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Here we have our certified emergency response team bag and everything that's included in it, we will use in our 10 steps of a zombie apocalypse. Tip number one, emergency blanket can be used to cover yourself, to reflect the zombie. He'll walk up to you, see himself, and walk away. Emergency blanket. We empty everything out of the bag, and this can be used to store all of our cans and our emergency food. It'll be great, and we can just put it right back on our backs. Tip number three, duct tape. It can be used if the zombie is encroaching on you. You can constrict him by wrapping him up in the duct tape and make sure you get the most important part. His mouth. Just duct tape that right up and then get away. Duct tape. Tip number four, we have our safety goggles. This will save you in trying to remove or to keep the bodily juices away from your face. Tip number five, gloves. In case you should have to dispose of a zombie body, put the gloves on and ensure that you double bag because you don't want to get any zombie fluids on your hands. Gloves. Tip number six, we have the emergency whistle. This, when you blow it, you can lure the zombies away from your family and your kids. The whistle. Tip number seven, the crayon. Can be used for two purposes. First, when you exit the building, you can mark how many zombies are inside. And when you get bored, you can doodle. Tip number eight. We have the multi-purpose tool. This is to eliminate the zombies. Tip number nine. The hard hat. Can be used in case someone thinks you're the zombie. Put the hard hat on, and now you're very clearly not the zombie. Safety first, hard hat. Tip number 10, the trip and fall kit. Now, if you see a zombie and you're already injured, well, it's too late for you. And those were your 10 tips on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Brought to you by Survey and Good luck.